Okay, we're going to look at another proof. This one's going to be actually easier, I think, than example one. So here's our diagram. We just have three points this time instead of five. It says if AB is congruent to BC, so these two are the same, prove that AB is half the size of AC. Okay. Now, again, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, obviously it has to be, right, because these two equal each other. You just have to show it. Um, you just have to show it, right? You have to write it out formally, which, again, is what our goal is when solving uh, proofs. So that leads us to our first step, which is to write out what we know, right? That's all you have to do. In other words, write out what is given. Okay, I should probably change that up. Too. Write out what is given. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do. So here's the first part of my proof. I'm not going to show you uh, the rest for right now. I just want to kind of hide that. So AB is equal to BC is what is given. Uh, we can even write our little symbols up here at the top. Okay, so let's go to the next step. All right, it says write out what you need to prove. Okay, so somewhere at the bottom here, we're just going to, at the bottom of the proof, we're going to write out what we need to prove. Okay, so here's the bottom of our proof. We need to prove that AB is half of AC. So basically what I did was I just took the wording and I wrote it as a math, a math expression. AB is half the size of AC. The way you would write that is just like this. AB equals one half of AC. So the question is, how do you get from the top to the bottom? Okay, well, that's what we're going to work on. Step three, write out your thought process in words. So, like we talked about, it's pretty obvious that if AB equals BC, then certainly this is half of that. Now, a couple things I do want to note. I just made these little purple markings. We can see that the two purple markings, the two smaller segments, are going to add up to the larger segment. Okay? So why not type that in words? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'll write my first thought out, and it's the two smaller segments are equal to the larger segment, okay? Right there. Now the second thing I noticed, well, it's the purple, then must be half of the green, right? Pretty obvious, considering they're equal. So that's the second thing I wrote. One of the smaller segments is half of the larger. It's a pretty simple, short proof, and we're just going to fill in the rest of the table now. So how can we convert this to a math expression? The two smaller segments are equal to the larger. Well, you can just write AB plus BC equals AC. That's the next thing we're going to write in our proof. And what's the reason for that? It's called segment addition or segment sum. Okay, so again, there's a lot of different ways that you can articulate that. So next we want to, you know, move on to proving down here that AB is equal to half AC. So we only want two segments in our final proof. So we need to get rid of one, right? We need to get rid of which one? Well, the BC, right? And since we only want AB in our answer, we know that BC is equal to AB. We're going to go ahead and just substitute it. So we're going to... Replace BC with AB and our reason is substitution. Now, I was asking you guys this earlier. What is AB plus AB plus a, B equal? Equal to AB. Okay. That's just addition property, right? Or, yeah. You could also call it multiplication, basically. You're just multiplying AB twice. Okay? But if you add them together to get two AB, and that equals AC, we only have one more step to go. You can already see where we're going with this, and you helped me out with this earlier. If we divide both sides by 2, we'll cross the 2's out here. We put a slash right here. We get AB is equal to AC over 2. The reason for that is called division. It's actually called the division property of equality. Go ahead and write the rest of that out. Division property of equality. Okay, so then we have AB is equal to one half AC. Now, again, you know, sometimes depending on the proof and which uh, you're talking to, you want to write it as congruent because that's what you're trying to prove. 
So you could say AB is congruent to half of AC. And the reason for that is congruence. All right, that's it for this one. Pretty easy. Okay, I like the fact that there's few steps to get from what you're given to what you need to prove. And that's what we've just done. If you have any other questions about this example, let me know.